This week on Rangers, we're in El Nido, Philippines, where I'll be attempting to get my paddy open water and showing you guys how to do the same. El Nido is beautiful, with clear blue water, white sand beaches, and towering limestone cliffs. Almost everywhere you look is a picture-perfect paradise, and the natural beauty doesn't just exist above the water. El Nido's underwater depths were first explored by Jack Cousteau, the father of scuba diving and one of the inventors of modern scuba gear. El Nido is located on the northernmost tip of the main island of Palawan. You can fly direct to El Nido from Manila, but the planes are small and seats are limited and often expensive. Most people fly to the capital of Palawan, Puerto Princesa, and then travel by shared van five hours north to El Nido. The cost of the van is typically 650 pesos per person. El Nido is definitely a tourist town and there are plenty of options of places to stay. Friends Hostel, located in the middle of town, seemed to be the social hotspot, but we opted to stay a 10 minute walk along the beach at Hidifi Resort. There are also multiple paddy certified dive shops located in town. We chose Palawan Divers, it was the closest to our accommodation and they had great reviews online. You have to be able to swim to get your open water, and there's a medical form to be filled out for screening. You can find out more on the health requirements on Paddy's website. Before you get in the water, you have to complete the Paddy e-learning course, which you can get emailed to you in advance if you book online. Pretty much all the dives in El Nido are from boats and you'll be out all day. Lunch is provided, but bring some snacks. Your wetsuit and all your scuba equipment will be provided to you, but you gotta bring your own swimsuit to wear under your wetsuit. And I'd advise to bring drinking water, reef safe sun cream, a towel to dry off, and a hat for the sun. We're going diving, Ryan's getting his open water. Yeah, did all my e-learning online last night, yesterday and last night, and now I'm ready. I'm excited and a little bit nervous. The cost of this thing, it was 23,500 pesos for me to get my open water. But we allowed for that in the budget because I really, really wanted to get my open water and it's a lot more expensive to do it back in the US. Britt already has hers from, what, two, three years ago? Yeah, and I did it here in El Nido too. Last yeah, here. but you haven't dived since that, no, so you're no. doing a refresher. Yeah, I'm gonna do a refresher, which just kind of like goes over all the basic skills. So you remember them. I don't remember anything. Wait, did I forget my test? <sighs> Can we just take it again when we get there? I don't know. Was it on the bed? Yeah. Did you pick, did you pick it up? No. No. It's seven forty now. Yeah. Do you want to keep walking? I'll run back and get it. Yeah. Okay, fine. Here he comes. Did you find it? Yeah. By the way, this is how we get to our accommodation. Yeah, walking along the beach. Yeah, pretty cool. I don't need to do any warm-up exercises now. You ready to dive? Yeah, I think so. I have the education now. All the online e-learning, I like all the theory-based stuff. It takes a while to get through it all. You only have to do three sections for your first day, and then you have to finish the five to the second day, but I just did everything in one night because that's the way I am. Yeah, nothing too crazy. It's just a lot of material to get through. We're here. Morning. What you got? My diver's log. What's this? My paddy card. Then we were introduced to our instructors. We found out we were going to have one instructor each, which was great. They gave us a quick exam on dive theory and then briefed us for the day's dives. My main like thing is like taking the regulator out and putting it away and the masks coming off and things like that. But I'm sure I'll be fine once I practice it a couple of times. I'm excited now. I'm excited now, good. I'm excited because we think we're going to do a couple of spots that I haven't been before. Can't wait, let's go. Stingray 2. Our instructors then went over how to fit the tanks to the scuba gear and check everything was in working order before doing the body check on each other's equipment. Then I had to go off into the shallow waters with my instructor to do the confined dive skills. I didn't get any footage of this because I was fully concentrated. This dive site is called Paradise Beach and it's one of the closest to El Nido town. A sandy sloping bottom from the beach down to 18 meters. 
With no current and about 20 meters of visibility, it's the perfect spot for a first dive. That's really cool. I loved it. How are your skills? Uh, ask him. I think I was doing okay. Yeah. I think so. How'd you do with your mask? You were worried about it. I redid it a couple times, but uh, by the end, I'm fairly confident. You know? Good. Then it was a quick change of tanks before heading to our next there dive site. Two hundred. This was Paglugaban, which starts in a shallow coral garden that runs for a couple hundred meters. The highlight of this dive is supposed to be the coral rock formations that you can swim through at the end of the dive. But, Britt got to swim with two different types of turtle on this dive, and I think that takes the cake. Then me and Britt met up towards the end of the dive. How'd you like it? I loved it. That was so cool. It's like you're flying. Like you're just floating through it. Yeah. It's really cool. One chase. This is the most famous dive spot in El Nido, South Minilock, discovered by Jack Cousteau himself. This dive site is nestled between Minilock and Simizu Islands, with the currents that flow through carrying the nutrients that feed the amazing marine life. The site has a huge coral garden full of cabbage coral and schools of big eye snappers that roll through. There is also a lot of opportunity to see mackerel, tuna and barracudas. And of course, turtles are always a highlight.
After about 45 minutes of exploring South Minilok, which didn't feel like enough time at all, it was time to head back to El Nido. How was your third dive? Fantastic. Even better. I saw a turtle. That was so exciting. I love it. This is going to be an expensive hobby. You just struggling with a wetsuit. We were both so exhausted after the day, we grabbed a quick dinner and went straight to sleep. Day two of getting my paddy cert. I'm having a great time. Yesterday was like the most exciting thing I've done in a few weeks now. Definitely one of the most exciting things I've ever done in my life, but we've just been doing a lot of exciting things lately. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely in love with scuba diving. I think I'm gonna end up probably doing this as a hobby which sounds very expensive to me they're going right around this region seems to be about anywhere between 75 and 80 us dollars for a day's diving which includes like your tank fill your equipment rental wetsuit in that price you usually get about three dives and lunch so when you add up all the little things that you spend money on an expensive dinner when you add it up that way, I'd rather save money in those areas and spend it on going on a dive when I'm in a nice location. I'm more excited today than I was yesterday because yesterday I was a little bit apprehensive about like taking the mask off underwater and like having the regulator taken away. And if you just stay calm and just do as they've taught you, it's not really a big deal. Like you can swim with a mask full of water. It's just blurry. At the start, I was struggling with like a, an automatic response to my body when my, when my face is covered in water, it doesn't want to breathe. But I just remember like my regulators in my mouth I have air I can breathe it was kind of, it was fine I asked them to do it a couple extra times because it was the only thing that I was really struggling with and they did it with me and now I feel a lot more confident in it I think today I won't have that issue my instructor is Tim and he's really really good got loads of knowledge makes me feel really really comfortable I don't feel rushed so I really appreciate that that's really good the, the dive company that we're going with is Palawan Divers five-star paddy resort very very professional outfit couldn't recommend them enough My first dive of the day was again a confined skills dive where I had to go through removing the mask and regulator underwater, navigating using a compass, towing my instructor, and practicing an emergency ascent among other things. There was a few things to see like microscopic squid, starfish, and some curious boxfish checking us out. That's the first dive of the day complete. We went to 12 meters. It was like a sandy bottom sloping. Saw a few little fish. Getting really comfortable with taking off on the, on the mast underwater and regulators and all of that. Uh, it's a breeze now. I don't know why I was sorry. I love it. I love it. A quick 30 minute boat ride and we arrive at Entaloodle Wall. Underneath the cliffs is a vertical reef that extends from 5 meters to 35 meters. way deeper than we can go and it's a little unsettling having such a depth beneath you. Especially as the wall blocks a lot of light making it feel deeper than it is. There are tons of small marine creatures hiding in the wall and you can get really really close to them. After Entalula, we stopped again for lunch before heading back towards El Nido for the last dive of the course. Nat Nat. And that's when my GoPro decided to fog up. Deciding to get my paddy cert was one of the best decisions I've ever made. Not only did it help me get over my fear of removing my mask underwater, it also taught me vital skills to stay safe underwater. I know I will continue to dive in the future, and this is just the start, because it's way too addictive. This was definitely a bucket list experience for me.
Yeah, it was really fun. I loved it. Loved it all. And my dives were a lot longer today than they were yesterday because I was not gulping down air like I was yesterday, breathing too much. I was just taking it nice and easy and breathing. Like one of them, I think, was 60 minutes. Like, yeah, it's a lot longer than me running out of air after 35 minutes yesterday because I was breathing too much. I'm so happy now. I crossed something off my bucket list. That was like one of the legit things on my list. Did you take good videos today? I mean, a lot of it's hard because you're just trying to like control your buoyancy and not kick anything and don't touch anything and get in close and get it and do all that other stuff. I had a great day. Did you? Great yeah. two days. Some of the hand signals he was giving me, I had no idea what he was saying. He was like doing like this. I think that Those meant- Those are different animals. I know, but I didn't know. I think he meant sea slug. Mm -hmm. And then he did something else like this. And I was like, I don't know, man. I, I see that thing, that's pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Or like a turtle. Oh, I knew what that was. Thanks for coming with me to get my paddy open water here in El Nido. If you've dove or you haven't dove before, I would 100% recommend coming here to El Nido. The diving is amazing and they have really good instructors. Shout out to my man Tim, he's the best dive master I could have asked for. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button because together we are rainbows.